Okay, everybody, I want to do a quick video review of the witch prop that I got from Pat Catan's craft stores. She stands 70 inches tall from tip of hat to the bottom of the floor. She has a standard plastic base there that I call a Christmas tree bases and there's a black plastic pole it breaks into a couple sections that runs all the way to the top. The top has a plastic like rib cage construction in there that helps hold the uh, upper body form. She has wire arms that actually have the uh, thick foam piping around it to give it a little bit of bulk and these can be posed. However, she is holding a cauldron and get this out of here. Her hand is actually zip tied to the cauldron, which is nice. Uh, on the cauldron, it's got some skulls around it. The little handles move. There's a chain wrapped around it. And the very cool part is there is an orange and red fire and ice light in there. And the battery pack is underneath it. Let's see if it'll show right there. That's where the batteries go for it. Um, the material used for the robe on her is just a very... I've used this before and I've seen this and I can't remember the type of material that it's called. You can't see through it with light, as you can tell right there. You can see the floor tiles through it. Uh, when it's all draped together, though, and it's dark, you can't see. She has yarn hair. And there's some purple streaks, as you can see, of, like, fake hair. Probably used from a wig that they put on there. There's some creepy cloth. It's not all going to turn up because everything is black and my camera's not the greatest, but there is some creepy cloth draped all over her as well. Kind of gives it more texture to the dress. And, I mean, there's a lot of possibilities here with her that you could do to, you know, make the dress. I'm actually thinking of using some different creepy cloth to just give some uh, color breakup on her. The face is a... It's almost like a hard foam. I don't want to say it's plastic. It's like a hard foam. Now, I do want to bring up the face. The paint job on her was horrendous. The green is actually really nice. There's different shades of green. Um, there's plastic eyes, which are really nice. Um, but how you see, they have the red here. And I left that. I just like the look. They did that red around the lips very sloppy I actually repainted the whole mouth on her uh, the whole inside of the mouth was green and the teeth were just a couple like white splotches they put on there so I repainted the whole mouth she also had a mole which you couldn't see so I repainted that black I gave her some purple lips um, the inside of the mouth is black did some red uh, tongue the gums, repainted the teeth white, and then did a uh, yellow wash around it. The hat is another thin material, but it holds its form easy. And then again, there's some creepy, this is more like a cheesecloth that they laid over it. And it's on there kind of sloppy, but there again, I think it adds to the look. She's, I mean, she's a witch, but this could be taken off, a new hat could be put on. There's a lot of upgrades that uh, you could do to it. I'm going to try to turn off the lights here. I have another video. It's dark where you can see how the fire and ice effect is. I still have the demo cord hooked up, so.
There is some sound with fire and ice. Creepy, right? Okay, they had a retail price on this of $49.99, but they had a 50% off coupon sale going on for one day only. So I got her for $25 out the door for like $26.56 or something like that. It's a very simple prop with a lot of possibilities. Uh, the kids and me in the haunted house that we run out of the garage are doing a witch's scene. We had to upgrade a couple of our witches. This was perfect and was within our budget this year, which allowed us to buy a couple other pieces. But there you go. If you have a pack of tans, go check it out. Uh, if you have a coupon, definitely grab it. It's definitely worth the 26, 25 bucks. Uh, even at 50, you know, I guess it all depends on what you want to do, what you're looking for. A lot of places are offering the uh, props this year, the animatronics. For the last couple years, they've been popping up. And, you know, if you're only going to use this like we do for maybe our Halloween party and just for the couple two three hours that will be open for Halloween it's gonna last I think especially when it's just the fire and ice that could be easily replaced even with a sound chip or whatever something would go out I think it's worth it I think I covered everything if you got any questions you know hey just ask I'll try to answer them as best I can but uh, here you go six foot witch prop with fire and ice light all right thanks for watching